Welcome back everyone. Time now is 641 and January is National Human Trafficking Prevention Month. And this week for your neighborhood, we're highlighting an organization that is focusing on not just that this month, but throughout the entire year. And they've been doing this kind of work for more than three decades, providing alternatives for girls. Now, a word of caution, this story does contain some very sensitive information that might not be suitable for our younger viewers. No means nothing in the world of sex trafficking. Like your voice means nothing. She was only 14 when she was introduced to the underground world of sex trafficking. Lauren Sowell, a then foster home runaway, was stopped on the street and offered a massage and money by a strange man. He invited her to his home and with nowhere to go, she obliged. Once he saw that he can kind of manipulate me in a sense, he started grooming me. The grooming would lead to drug use and distribution and sex trafficking her teenage years stolen from her. There was no going home. And then it it totally began to become out of control. And I was introduced into a sex ring where every day I would get into a van and we would go into unmarked locations and we would go into houses. What happened inside was heartbreaking. She was trapped in this life for years. It was too much for any child to bear. Most of the time, to be honest, I, I cried. Nobody knows the trauma of having to have over 10 abortions and miscarriages. Nobody knows that lifestyle of having to be beaten, having to be branded, having to be marked up. Your soul becomes empty. Lauren's freedom would come when the man who held her captive was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting. She would work to get her life together and fight her heroin addiction. That's when Alternatives for Girls would rescue her. Alternatives for Girls is amazing. Alternatives for Girls is a nonprofit based in Southwest Detroit. We're 33 years old. We serve homeless and high risk girls and young women. We operate a street outreach program. We drive around the streets and work with girls and women of all ages who are out there, who are, who are victims of sex trafficking. They worked with Lauren, helping her land on her feet, find public housing, pay off her bills, and find employment. The nonprofit was an angel at some of her lowest points in life. There is hope inside those walls and inside those hearts of the people there. We are out there as a compassionate response to their situation. We address their immediate needs we do not pass judgment. We let them know that we are here for them if and when they're ready to take steps toward exiting that life. Now, with her six-year-old son by her side, a job and housing, Lauren holds her head high, not afraid to share her story of trauma and hope. She hopes it will encourage others, letting them know there is a way out. I thank God for attending for girls. And we thank you, Lauren, for being so brave and for sharing your story with us and helping Alternatives for Girls continue to do the work that they do. Alternatives for Girls has a resource number where girls and women can call needing help in any area. And with no judgment, they will work to find and provide those resources for you. Now, they can always use funds to keep doing the work that they could do. Volunteers are also needed as well. So if you'd like to help, especially this prevention month, we're going to post all of their contact information on our website. Click on Detroit.com after the broadcast. You can also follow them and connect with them on their Instagram page. That is Alternatives for Girls on Instagram.